Be scared. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am HTR and today we're gonna to do some upgrades on my Roscoe 9. We are gonna be throwing a wireless shifter kit, the SRAM GX. Now this kit has been out for quite a few years now. It's not the best. It's not like the T transmission, but we'll get into the T transmission later. But I have got this and honestly, I paid dirt cheap for this. I mean, I have never seen the price on one of these go for how much I bought it for. So let me put it in this way. The 12-speed XT shifter and derailleur, I bought it for the same price as this. So I decided to go with a wireless shifter. Actually, I've been talking about it for quite a while now. I wanted the T-transmission, but I figured, hey, you know what? I don't even know if it's gonna fit my bike. It says it does, but where it's welded at, I don't even know if the hanger, or whatever you call it, direct mount, whatever, will fit on it. it. I might have to grind some of the material away. Anyways, because I figured that this is so cheap, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. And I also don't have to be worrying about cables, the cable getting gunked up, less maintenance. The only thing I have to worry about is batteries. That's about it. And if you download the app on your phone, you can see where your battery level's at at all times. And that's not the only upgrade I'm gonna be doing. I'm doing the tires, the rear rotor, and I'm changing out my grips. So let's go ahead and get into this. First, we can start with the wireless shifter. Go ahead and open it up. Okay, it comes with instructions. Yeah, yada, yada. Yeah, probably important instructions if you don't know what you're doing. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. This is the first SRAM component I have ever owned. I've always owned Shimano, so this is a big step for me. Koozie. This is what charged the battery. This is the battery. Comes with a tool. So that's pretty cool. I guess this is some kind of tool for it. I'm gonna have to look this up. Guess the cables to, so you could charge your battery. The shifter. Oh, maybe you can, maybe you can do it from there too. Or just, can you just do it from here? Put that back. And the derailleur. Now I have to say, this is definitely bigger. The videos on this GX kit has been out for quite a few years now, so this is nothing new, but this is a big step for me because like I said before, I've never owned anything SRAM. I've always been a Shimano guy. All right, let's go ahead and install it on the bike. So I already took the liberty of taking the old derailleur off, removing the cable housing, and the shifter. So all we have to do is pretty much install, and I hope it's a pretty straightforward installation. It's always nice when you're bolting a new component up to your bike like that. So moving on to the wireless shifter, I'm not gonna be using the bracket that came with the kit. I have a ISEV, so I got some adapters here. I'm gonna figure out which one fits the best. I think it's going to be this one. Yeah, I still want the clean look. Can't stand when all these brackets are on your bars. It, it freaking drives me crazy. It's going to have to go like that. So let's go to that. Let's use that hole. I don't know, I kind of like the look of that. It looks clean. All right, let's connect it to my brake lever. Let's undo it pin or whatever it is to push this in to release it. Now, you have the old piece for the Shimano XT shifter. That's what it looks like. And now, we're gonna have to uh, slide this one right there. So I'm gonna have to take this off, slide it through, and then screw it in. I'm gonna try to show you guys. So this is the piece that comes off. Slide it through here. It's gonna look like that through the bottom. It's gonna go mounted right underneath it. So now that it's sandwiched between there, Try to get it straight as you can. Let's go ahead, reinstall the clamp, tighten down your bolt. So this is what it looks like on. I mean, you can put your finger in the back and push down. That might be my up and this might be my down. But you can go inside your app and change it. Then you have the adjustability. Slide it this way. So I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Now what we're gonna do is end up taking this piece off. Don't forget to put this piece back on. Apparently it helps keep from the battery from falling out. Um, yeah, then you 
clip this up, take this out. Now here's your battery. Thank you. That's how it looks. Three prongs. Then you clip it in. And then you put this piece back on. Like that. And now let's see if it works. Turn it on here. So I got it paired. Let's take a look. Another cool feature that SRAM has that Shimano does not have, when you open this up, there's a little pin to where you can lock it. I love that. When you're doing Shimano, it's hard when you're trying to take the wheel out and the chain because Shimano doesn't have a lock for the derailleur. So this makes it a lot easier. So these are my Ergon G1 Evo grips. They are the olive green to match the bottom of the Roscoe. And these are the previous grips I had on before I had to cut them off. I, ju I just couldn't get them off. With these grips, I loved them. But the uh, brake lever, I always had to adjust it to be farther than what it was because when I normally had regular grips, you know, I could bring the brake lever in closer. As soon as I put these on, right, it would almost touch or hit because these are a little thicker. Um, actually, I'll show you. Hang on. So these are the ones on my next SL bar. So we're going to go ahead and do the diameter on it. The diameter is four, I'm sorry, 36 millimeters. So when I do these, it is 31 millimeters. Uh, yeah, I say about 31 in between. Oh, don't forget, there is a left and a right. So please keep that in mind when you're building these on. You don't want to switch them, but I'm on the opposite side. Now we're going to be doing tires. The most important thing to me on a bike is your tires. So this is the 2.5 Asagai Max Grip with the Evo Plus casing on it. This will be for the front. This is the Minion DHF, I'm sorry, the Minion DHR in a 2.4 and it has a double down casing on it. Now for a hardtail, you need to go double down if you do aggressive riding, if you're just an XE bike, no, you don't need that at all. I want this so when I go up north, I don't have to worry about my tire. So in the back of the Roscoe, it comes with a 180 millimeter rotor and in the front, it comes with a 203 rotor. So we're gonna go ahead and change it to a 203 in the rear. Go ahead and clean off the surface. Now don't forget, before you install this onto your bike, clean the rotor with some alcohol. So this is important because you went from the 108 to 203, you can't just slap it on. So I had to go with a 203 adapter for the rear. All right, so it's making a little bit of noise and usually I do the brakes pretty good, but hear it, that'll go away. That'll go away and I'm starting to ride. 203 in the rear, fellas. The only thing we have left to do now is route the chain. 